Hey guys, welcome to the video. Welcome to my garage. In this video, I have finally updated the chassis designs for Ratchet here. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that it's been over two years since I posted the design of this chassis. And I put the design out there for free. Anybody can download it off of my shared folder, which is in the description of this video. I'll also do a link to the original video uh, where I went over the the original design of this chassis. Since the original video, which I put out over two years ago, so much of this has changed, I wanted to highlight some of the changes. A lot of people have downloaded the other chassis. Um, I, I really don't know what they're doing with it. I, I, some people might be making something very, very similar, but I know from the emails that I have with a lot of these people, a lot of people are getting the dimensions off of that chassis to start as a base to build their own chassis. The reason that they're doing that is within the dimensions, I have the dimensions for the for the frame jig that this chassis is still sitting on today. So I have the dimensions for that. And then the dimensions for the base of this chassis is very, very similar. I, I mean, so similar. If you built just the base, you can take a Volkswagen bug body and you can set it right on there. Now it's, it's round tube, so it won't sit right on there, but the dimensions are essentially the same. The only difference is the very, very front portion of the bulkhead here is a, it's a couple inches wider on either end so that this chassis has more room in the footwell than a regular Volkswagen Bug does. But you could totally just take the dimensions and mimic everything on the back half and then just narrow the front up a little bit and you could take a Volkswagen Bug body, put it right on there, and then build the rest of the chassis yourself. So if you go to YouTube and let's look at the video that I just posted the other day, Ratchet gets some rubber. If you go down into the description and you'll see right here, I've got the link to my shared folder. If you click on that and then go to the file called Ratchet Files and then go to the file called Ratchet Chassis. So what you have here is basically I'm considering that I have three different chassis types right now. I've got the ratchet chassis square type. That's the original chassis. That's the one I've been handing out to everybody and people have been downloading. So this is the original chassis. This is the one that everybody has downloaded so far. And this is the one that essentially I originally built probably 80% of the way. At that point, I was going to go with this squared off design, but I was just never... I was never able to completely convince myself that that was the way that I wanted to go. So I ended up making some changes on this. And then this ratchet chassis crawler is just a, a chassis that I was playing with that had a, a flared bottom. This is the crawler chassis. I've never done anything with this. I don't know if anybody will want to do anything with this. At one point, I thought this was pretty cool. The only thing that's different is you can see on the sides here, I flared it up. Kind of like how a rock crawler, that's why I call it the, the crawler chassis, kind of like how a rock crawler flares up at the sides. The, uh, the space here, at least on my Baja, is essentially dead space. So it seemed like if I flared the sides up, you would gain a little bit of clearance. Um, and I also thought it, it looked cool. And then there is the Ratchet Chassis Revision 1. And that's the chassis that I'm talking about right now. This is the revised. As I make some changes to this going forward, it'll be Rev 2, Rev 3, Rev 4, and whatnot, because I want people to always be able to have, to be able to go back to the original if they need be. Uh, let's get out of there and let's actually check out the Ratchet Chassis Revision 1. All right, now this is the, this is the chassis that I'm actually building. And you can see, you can still see Kind of the front portion and the, the main body here is the same, but most of the other stuff has, has changed quite a bit. And this is extremely accurate to what I'm building right now. It looks funny. I totally agree with you on that. I mean, this looks like a shark fin or something up here. It, it seems really weird. But when you put the curved Volkswagen roof on there, that's what it actually comes out to be. As on the chassis that's right behind me, when I take the roof off of it, it looks just as weird. But 
I uh, I took these measurements really really accurately. I mean, I didn't I didn't rush through this. I I used plumb bobs and levels and and tried to get this as accurate as I could. So this is this is pretty darn accurate. Definitely accurate enough that if you guys took this, especially if you had Bentec, and if you just transfer the, these dimensions off of what the software would tell you, you would pretty much be able to build the exact same thing. So that's the chassis. That's where you can get it. Uh, there is one other thing that I want to point out to you on the physical chassis here. A lot of this chassis carries over to a Volkswagen body. And what I mean is things like this point right here and this, this door line, this is in the same spot as the door line on an actual Volkswagen bug body. So like when I was making these fiberglass panels, it was kind of easy for me to make the panels just like the actual body panels because the chassis was essentially drawn up that way. This line right here is the exact same line that would be on a Volkswagen body. Same thing with this line right here. This line is the in the exact same spot as where a door would end on an actual Volkswagen body. So if you're making fiberglass panels like I did, that lines up. And if you were using actual steel panels from a Volkswagen body, those would essentially fall into place as well. Same thing with, uh, there's a tube back here. You can see over there. It runs in the same spot that would be just underneath the window of an actual Volkswagen bug body. Obviously, these tubes coming up are in the same location as because these panels, if you've seen my videos, have been made off of that Volkswagen bug body. So a lot of these pieces fall into the same place as if it was an actual Volkswagen bug body. Obviously, there's a big change here, but I made that just so that the driver would have more visibility. However, there are two things that are different that I want to point out. The one is what I said earlier. This section here is wider than a, uh, a stock Volkswagen bug body. And I did that to give you more uh, foot room down inside the chassis here. Volkswagen, the, the foot well area is a lot smaller, a lot more cramped. So on my design, this is, a, I think, two or three inches wider that way, which actually opens all of this up a lot more. And on my design, it goes up higher as well, so you end up with a lot more room up top. And then the other thing that is different is this chassis goes up straight and then goes over. This is a hard 90 right there. That's why my body panels flare out and there's a gap there because this goes up 90 degrees, or this goes up straight, turns 90 degrees, and goes over this way. But if you look at an actual Volkswagen bug, that doesn't happen. This actually comes up, and right around here, it curves in right there and continues to arc that way. So what happens is that top point on the ratchet chassis is actually right about here. So you cannot take a stock Volkswagen windshield frame like this and put it over the chassis because the chassis would stick out to about here. Now, if you're dead set on putting a Volkswagen body on here or something, in your build, you could always take care of that and curve this in. I didn't want to do that, so what I'm doing with mine, when I make my fiberglass one-piece front end, you can see that I've already built these mirrors and I've they're attached at the chassis right here. I purposely did that so that when I make this one piece front end, it's actually gonna to come to about here, and then it's gonna curve around these mirrors. And that's gonna give the illusion that that is meant to be like that. And it won't be obvious that this squares off, whereas a regular Volkswagen curves in. Because this stuff is happening right here, it will just make you not notice that. Of course, you'll notice it now, now that I'm pointing it out to you, but that's why these mirrors are right here, and that's how I'm going to get away with that. Otherwise, if I made my fiberglass front end and made it come all the way out and have a hard curve right here, it would not look normal. It, it would look kind of weird. So if you're messing around with this chassis, keep that in mind, that this, this one little corner here 
sticks out further than on a regular Volkswagen Bug. I did that because I was trying to squeak a little bit of extra room inside the cab here as much as I could. And so I, I did a little cheat there, but just keep that in mind if you're trying to build something. So that's it for this video, guys. I didn't want to get crazy. I didn't want to do a complete walkthrough of the chassis because, I mean, maybe I'll do that one day, but there's, there's a lot to it. But I did, I mean, I spent like the last week coming out here in the evenings making all these changes to the drawing. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time because I probably send out uh, five to ten of the downloads for that chassis a week. I actually get a lot of people asking for that, which is great. I mean, I love that people are using it and building whatever they want. So I'll send it to as many people keep asking for it because I want to make it easy for as many people as possible to get into this hobby. But lately I was starting to feel kind of bad because I was giving them these files and I know that essentially the design is two years out of date because I've made so I've completely changed the direction of the the chassis and I, I always thought well these people might be watching my recent videos and then the, I, I give them this chassis and it's completely different so what will be happening now is if I just get people some people go right to the shared folder and they grab it themselves and then they can grab whatever they want and there's a lot more in that shared folder and they can take whatever they want but now if people ask me for the chassis I'll give them the square well I'll give them all three I'll give them the square body the crawler and this one which is the actual one so that they've got more options and they can build whatever they want so that's it for the video guys sorry this one wasn't I wasn't really fabricating anything I just wanted to give updates to the software I hope it's helping you guys with whatever you're working on or just giving you something to watch or whatever and I hope to see you on the next video take care I got a new smart TV hooked up in the garage it's awesome because now it's connected to my Wi-Fi so I can get internet stuff on it bonus points to anybody who can tell me what cartoon this is Report. The battle is over. Escort group returning to base. Lieutenant Hunter is now guarding...